Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd. I'm with Rudd's Home Farm, and today I'm going to show you how to mix hydroponic solution for your plants. Stay with me. All three of these hydroponic solutions are mixed together to make one solution for your plants. The way the instructions are said, you add, first you add micro, flora micro, and then you add these two. So this is the base, and these are the additions but you use all three of them in one container to make a solution for your plants for them to grow. So on the back it says you need to use, I use um, just general purpose mild vegetative. There's different, you can have aggressive vegetative or pretty much you read instructions on the back and it tells you how many teaspoons per gallon. And I use five gallon buckets. So for this, it's one teaspoon of each per gallon. So I got a little kitchen calculator here. So if we're using five gallon, uh, we can just round it up to six and say six teaspoons would be two tablespoons. So I just go ahead and get my tablespoon and I put two tablespoons of micro into my so solution into my five gallon bucket, which I will do now. So first you add your floral micro before you do anything. You're not supposed to add the concentrates to any of them together because it'll have some sort of nutrient lock where they pretty much cancel each other out. So you first you add flora micro. I got a five gallon bucket, so I'm gonna use two tablespoons. One, two, and then I'm gonna add about a gallon or two of water before I add my next compound. So the kind of water I use, I have an in-home filtration system. So I, my water is already soft and it's already filtered. So, but I've also used tap water. So tap water works just fine from the hose, but it's best to use the best water you have. So if you happen to have a five gallon jug of purified water, I would use that if you really want to do what's best for your plants because um, the hydroponic solution needs to be absorbed by the water and Tap water already has a bunch of minerals in it, and so you're gonna be competing with those minerals. But if it's already been filtered and uh, soft, then you don't have to compete with that. It's pretty much the root. The plants are only getting the hydro, the solution that you're feeding them. Okay, so make sure you uh, rinse out your tablespoon so you don't mix concentrates together. So I just go ahead and I just swirl it in here. It's ready to go. So I go ahead and I put my two tablespoons of the next. I'm using uh, Flora Grow next. So you put two tablespoons of uh, Flora for your five gallon. Once again, if you got a different size, you're gonna calculate how much you're gonna do in accordance with that. So that's, I put two, two tablespoons in there and then I'm gonna add another gallon or two of water to even it out. All right, final solution. Go ahead and make sure we rinsed out our measuring. Okay, let me go ahead and I put our Flora Bloom. This is our final solution, two tablespoons of each. This is just for general purpose growing. Your plants will grow just fine. Uh, I like to keep it simple since I'm, I'm a beginner. So since I'm a beginner, I just like to just, I was, I was able, everything goes all the way to full growth if you just use the mild just standard amount. Um, once you get into more advanced and you want to control when the when the plant goes to bloom, how fast it grows, and so on and so forth, it's a lot more complicated than when, what I'm doing so far. So if you get into that stuff, you'll be able to use a chart and put the correct amount of nutrients to it to change it. But like I said, you could just keep it simple. I like to keep stuff simple, especially when I'm a beginner. So, Go ahead and adding the last bit of last five gallons all the way to the top to make sure you mix everything in. There you have it. That's how you mix hydroponic solution. This is five gallons. As you can see, these, this will last you a while. I've made about, about 40 gallons worth. And you can see it's not even half empty. So I know there's a gallon version of it online, but this, uh, this quart, is plenty unless you're like a major hydroponic person and you got like 
hundreds of trays and plants and systems and stuff like that. But this, this, this amount right here works perfectly for me and it's got much more use to come. If you have any questions about this further, uh, I'll happily answer any questions that you have for me. Thank you for joining me today on how to mix hydroponic solution for your plants. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll have a lot more videos coming out, videos daily. Have a great day.